Hello, dudes and delicious. Today we're going to be building this amazing farm behind me, sugarcane and bamboo in one farm because 116 is coming and Syrotic is out the door. I went through a lot of iterations to make this. There you see it from the air. It's quite small, but uh, you, in my testing world, I will leave you these other designs, which is uh, quite big but the same efficiency like this one demanded 120 repeaters didn't like that this one 120 observers didn't like that so I ended up with this small design and as you can see this side we have bamboo this side we have sugarcane and you can just interchange it this is the heart of it it need one for one module but it actually controls all four uh, it's five wide 17 long and then you have this uh, maintenance shaft which is eight long I think so you can come down and inspect your redstone always keep your redstone clean this is the on off switch for the whole farm and I will not be doing a block by block by of this because it's just hopper clocks two hoppers pointed into each other two uh, comparators and in this you have five full stacks in this which is exactly the same uh, you have 24 stacks this is uh, controlling the time that the uh, pistons are flying back and forth and oh there's a torch um, and it also controls this basically controls this piston which pushes up an observer so that we get a observer clock um, they're looking into each other let's just see like this I have two looking the same way and one that goes up like this as you can see and it, the duration the 24 makes sure that the pistons fly out and in let's see they're encased in there you can see come out come out come out wherever you are and they're going it's due it's just two pistons facing each other two sticky pistons and we need to time it so that they go back like this um, now the way we do this because we don't want them flying all the time we place uh, comparator there then this back hopper clock actually times how often this hopper clock goes so that's the brain of the operation now we need to start building so uh, you kind of cover this you go out 16 blocks from there just one above the ground level so 16 and then you grab some dirt and go out two up and then just make a trench like this and lock it off like this and in the other end as well because this trench will be holding water a bit later um, then we need to bring in the observers and you have to do it in this order because it's kind of difficult to do later. So you kind of get down here and then you just place observers looking upwards. Uh, then the water, like so. Make sure it runs to both ends. And now you can bring in the middle wall like this. And I will just speed it up. like so and yeah it looks like this pretty easy right um, then it's time to bring in the pistons and it is just two sticky pistons no slime or anything because it's it's not a flying machine in that sense um, like so and of course you could do it the other ways around if you have more modules and then it's encasing time again just in case the dirt like this I will speed it up do it on both sides speed it up nothing to it and um, that probably should be stone as well yeah oh did I no no water ran out but be careful if you do move a block there that water don't get uh, down in the redstone so uh, make it right the first time not like me don't do as I do do as I say right um, and then we kind of need to encase the pistons like this uh, and all the way up like so 
and exactly the same on the other side like this yep pretty easy right you're still with me then just two rows of glass you could use three rows of glass but i use two rows of glass because i use trap doors below so that you can actually change the crop quite easily sometimes you might encounter that uh, uh, crop will lay out there because i mean it's not a full block but I still prefer using trapdoors. And bamboo on the other side. And of course, they don't grow uh, equally fast, but it doesn't matter. The yield is the same, even though the um, sugarcane don't grow quite as fast. And then you place in light because you want this thing to work at night. Of course, it doesn't have to be glowstone. It doesn't have to be every block. You can do it like every third or fourth block as well. And it's more encasing time. Like this, like this. And now it's time to put in the redstone. And uh, like this, go all the way to the end. And actually, if this is 50, then we actually don't need the last one. It also, it always flies one past the last active block. So this could just be a normal block. And then, put in slabs, make it spawn proof. And then we go to the pit and we make a roof because that's where our rails will be going to pick up uh, the drops. And uh, yeah, mm. that's a problem. So make this one deeper than I did. So you can actually get in here like so. And of course you don't have to use glass. I'm just doing it for the tutorial and for the world download so you can see what's going on. I will leave you another pit in the world so you can see it when this is built uh, on top of it. Then use rails. Um, I'm just going to use powered rails because it's creative. If you don't have powered rails, you know, just use an every seventh block or something like this. And if it was um, a one module, you would probably have a collection area here as well or on the other end. But right now I'm just gonna throw them around. And of course you have to power them. The only tricky bit is in the end here where you cannot really, um, I mean, you, you could power it down from down, but you can also power it from uh, top. And then you just mm, put down this. You could also put down redstone blocks under the, um, what's happening here? Under the rails. Huh, can't hit. Oh, that's a hitbox, right. Okay, um, and then you can do the same here. I'm just gonna you know, put it there, for instance, something like this. Um, but if it's a single module you wanna do, of course you wanna swing the, um, the rails all the way around, but if you wanna build more modules like this one, you wanna make the full cross, then the rails would be going something like uh, it will swing right there. So it will be going like this and out there and then back. So, right, let's activate this thing and I'm just going to put this so you can see what it would be like with four. And we're waiting. And here it goes. Oh. It missed the last one. Oops. And here we see it going. Right over my head. Yeah. Perfect, perfect. And that's the farm, guys. But um, this is a very modern look. This is a clean look you can get. You can use concrete as well, but I like, you know, this turn of the century look. So I'm gonna leave uh, in the world download for you this that kind of fits more into what I'm doing off most often. So where you kind of make beautiful factories. The mechanics, as you see, is exactly the same. No change there. Um, but it kind of looks snazzy, I think. All right, dudes, 
thank you for watching. I hope you can use this in your world. And uh, remember to subscribe, hit that belly button, tell people about the farm. It helps the channel. Bye. <laughs>